Hello YouTubers, I want to welcome you to another edition of Bargain Bin Gear. And let me tell you something, it's a scorcher today. I mean, it's really hot. hot. Now, in this episode, I want to talk to you about the Disaster Area Designs Smart Clock. Okay. Uh, now, the Smart Clock is basically... Um, controls um, MIDI tempo pretty much instead of tap tempo uh, which you can do it'll send that tap tempo signal as MIDI clock signal to all your pedals at once right but even better than that it even has presets that are um, you know you can set the presets to um, specific clock times Right, and instead of tap tempo, it sends out the specific uh, tempo time of the preset. In other words, if you have preset of 120 beats per minute, it'll send that out to all of your pedals. So what happens there? What's the, what's the idea behind it? Well, uh, it syncs all your pedals together um, to be in time, especially. Um, pedals with delay and reverb and things and I even have a, uh, a boss pedal that uh, has specific tempo times okay beyond that you can do subdivisions of time and that kind of thing those are the more advanced features I think but just for the basic features it's um, tempo and you wouldn't think that's very important in fact to be quite honest with you, a uh, long time ago, you know, when I was using just a Line 6 pedal board, well, I had no idea about uh, syncing delays and reverbs. What's that about? And as a result, when I hear recordings and things, I notice very specifically that the delays and reverbs aren't exactly in time. Makes a huge difference. And, as we've discovered in previous videos, and I hope you subscribe and that you're following the videos, because I refer back to older videos. Uh, if you'll remember, the uh, Smart Area Design Smart Clock also um, has another feature, and that is that it's powerful enough to power the MIDI Quadra through little MIDI box that I use. So it's kind of a dual purpose thing, you know. Um, and if, if you don't have kind of, you know, tap tempo and things, or any way of synchronizing your delays and reverbs and things, it makes a huge difference in your sound, I promise you. Uh, it makes you much more aware of them, too. Now, there are other companies that make similar devices. Tempo synchronizers, if you like. Uh, but my, by far, my favorite is the Smart Area Designs. Smart Clock. And they have different generations of one. I think I started out with a Generation 1. You know? And I even bought a used one. I think it was Generation 1. And uh, with each generation, you get a, you know, a few new features and things, and uh, it's compatible with more pedals and things, but they're all basically the same. And this is the kind of pedal that, because it doesn't create any sound of its own, that you don't really want to spend the money <laughs> on it. And this has caused me a great deal of anxiety as well. Um, but when I really thought about it, and the fact that it powers the quadra through, it just works so well for me, anyway. Because um, it's really easy to get kind of uh, sloppy, I guess, is what I should say, as far as timing goes. You know, so this definitely keeps you on your toes. And for tap tempo, for me, uh, you know, I always get close. Like if I want 120, 
I notice that I'll tap in the tempo, but it comes out to like 119 or that kind of thing. It's never quite accurate, so, you know. And I really don't like tapping in the tempo and things, you know, quite frankly. I'm just not that accurate, I guess. Um, that was just another reason why I like the, the smart clock. You know, because it's got a definite tempo. Now listen, I've ordered one, and it's here, and it's caused me a great deal of anxiety, thinking, well, man, I don't know, I mean, maybe I should return it, but I've decided, I think I'm going to keep it, I'm going to put it on this big board I'm building, so let's have an unboxing, shall we? And this is a brand spanking new Generation 3, Disaster Area Design. All right, so here we go. Wow. Okay. We get a nice user manual. Very nice, and thank goodness this company is really, really good about um, keeping manuals and things online that you can get to, you know, especially on the older generation one. And, and, and you really need to read the manual because it can do quite a bit. I mean, it, it can even control the tempo of non-MIDI pedals. I mean, that's, <laughs> that's pretty amazing, really. Um, uh, the other thing is, uh, you know, even for like loopers, if you have a MIDI-capable looper, or even a non-MIDI-capable looper, but maybe has tap tempo or something, you can sync those as well, right? And this is particularly useful if you're going to be using a pedal like a Beat Buddy or something like that, or an SR18, at least as drum machines, basically. Uh, or even sequencers, for that matter. All right, anyway. So there we go, we get a nice manual. And... As always, as a sign of quality, if you're ordering a pedal and it doesn't come with a sticker, but psh, you got ripped. There it is. Disaster area designs. For those in the know. <laughs> okay. So you see it's a sign of quality when you get a cable when you get a sticker out. And I have to commend this company because um, the, the smart clock is just such a brilliant design and it really does work really well. Okay. And here you go. And this is a generation three. And man, it's kind of different. Um, the old ones didn't have these little dip switches on the back. And that's to control these multi-jack functions right here. A uh, multi-jack just means it could be MIDI, right? Or pulse out for non-MIDI things. And then, uh, or you could use it for, um, to connect a tap tempo pedal if you wanted to. Right. And they've also added a little A and B green light here. Pretty nice. And then here you've got this little switch that lights up. Right. Yeah, they made this kind of little a little different. Pretty cool. But basically it's the same idea as the version one. Right? And it's got this little tag here. Now, on one of mine, the tag was pulled off. I don't know if the guy thought he'd, he'd be crafty and, you know, try to say, oh, well, it's a version three instead of a version one. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, you see how it's blue there? That's because there's a little covering on there to protect it, right? 
which I find amusing because they didn't put one on the actual screen, which would have been better. <laughs> but I guess they want to protect that little logo tag. So I, I'm not going to pull that off yet. So here it is. This is the smart clock. Um, and you never want to spend the money on this, for sure. I mean, these are going for uh, about 200 or something like that. Well, that could buy a really nice pedal, couldn't it? It actually makes sounds, but I'm telling you, it's worth it. It really is worth it, and it makes a huge difference. Um, and that's why when I see something like the Plethora X5 or some of the Line 6 delays, and they don't even have a, a MIDI clock control, right, for, for their delays and things. Well, that's sad, right? Uh, it's not going to sync up right, you know, to the rhythm, I guess. You know, and I'll give you some examples of that, hopefully, in this video, if I get things connected. So there you go. Um, you know, and I guess it's an investment, but I'm really going to bite the bullet because they last for years. I mean, I've had mine for years and years. And, you know, it's really good quality, too. And sound-wise, you would never guess that it makes such a huge difference, you know. And when things are in sync, it just sounds better, you know. And you can play around with the subdivisions, which is fun, because instead of quarter notes, you know, you can do eighth notes, you know. You get that real fast delay kind of sound, stuff like that. If you have a delay pedal, right, that has MIDI, you know, or these multi-function jacks. In other words, a tap tempo jack. So there we go. Uh, yeah, so I've decided to keep it. Um, I suppose I could always resell it if need be. So this is my third one, so I'm really sold on these. Um, it's almost essential. Not really, but for me it is. It's, it makes a huge difference because I love to use delays, but I like to use delays that are in time. I remember in past recordings that I didn't have that feature. Let's get this hooked up and see what happens. All right. Now I've got the uh, smart clock installed on the big board here. Here are two of the H9s. I know it's kind of backwards, but I can't really see. But take a look here. Um, let's say I had uh, different presets and things. I'm going to hit the button on the um, Soul Man controller, and it will set both, because uh, I haven't set to the same MIDI channel, to the same preset. So let's try that. And there you go, they both set to 13, which is a preset called Black Hole. And now if I try the tempo, right? Or I'm just gonna move the knob first. All right, see how the tempo is moving there? On both of them, it's setting the tempo. Now, here's the interesting thing, and the whole point of the smart clock, it's got presets here, so if I hold that down, right, notice they both change to 100. If I go to preset 2, right, goes to 86. And if I go to preset 3, goes to 120, and now to 86. So basically it's working really well. Now I'll tell you, there's something really different about Generation 3 Smart Clock. The old ones, the you had a preset mode, and the, the actual um, knob here would turn green when it was in preset mode. But now they've kind of combined them, kind of simplified it to where 
you can hit a preset. Like there's a preset three is 120. And, and this you weren't able to do before, um, adjust the tempo as well if you needed to. Which is pretty cool. And then go to preset four. And there you go. So pretty cool. Uh, got it hooked up. All right. So here is the smart clock. And you'll notice when I hit the button, hold it down, goes to preset two and changes the tempo to 86. Hold it down again, goes to 120 on preset three. Okay, so I'm gonna switch presets here and I'm gonna show you what this does. You, you see the two, look at the screens there. There are two different presets on the H9s. One's at 17 and one's at three. I'm gonna hit the tempo preset here and it sh they should both change. And there you go, they both switch to 86. Right. So here I'm at 120 beats per minute. I've got both H9s on, okay? And you can hear it sounds like this if I'm playing at 120 beats per minute. different tempo and I'm still trying to play at 120 right? it won't sound right at all it'll sound more like this kind of thing together I'll run three delays, which I usually never do, but because they're synced, I'll try it. So here's three different delays, one from the M5, two from the H9, and they're all synced together.
even with three delays, it's really synced together well. Okay, if I play the same thing and now they're unsynced, alright, so you get this kind of... together. Okay, so the smart clock is just awesome. Uh, highly recommended uh, for syncing uh, your tempo of your pedals, of your effects. And when they're in time, as opposed to just, you know, as best as you can with tap tempo and things. Um, highly accurate, but just sounds great <laughs> overall. And I'll tell you, I had uh, uh, misgivings of spending money on them. You know, a couple pedals. Because I have uh, two other smart clocks, so I wasn't sure I wanted a third one, quite frankly. Uh, but now that it's all set up and things, I really, really like it. And it's, I think the Generation 3 is a little better than a Generation 1. In the sense that before, um, you had two separate modes. Presets, which would basically, you hit one switch and you, you program in a tempo that you want, like 120 BPM second preset 86 BPM and so on and so on and then if you wanted to use tap tempo and things that was another mode totally different and uh, the button would be kind of this white LED and when you switch to preset mode it would be green and in white mode it's basically a tap tempo and you tap in the tempo and it sends out the tempo to all your pedals now, how the Generation 3 is different is basically they're all one mode. You can do tap, tempo, or presets, right, in the same mode. That's basically the big difference. And they just work great. Super. So very, very pleased with that, you know. Um, and especially with delays, man. Uh, different tempos, you know, can really be startlingly different and very cool. <laughs> you know, highly recommended. Alright, very good. Uh, see you next time. Okay.